Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to be talking about the Galaxy S7 Edge red screen issue again. So I got a device that was actually defect. It had a very red screen and a dead pixels in it and I made a video about that. I'll leave that in the link or in the corner of this video. And that was not very good. It didn't look very well and the pixels wasn't dead so that was terrible. And now I got my replace unit here and it still had a little bit of a red tint screen but the dead pixels was gone at least so that was good and I was happy with that. But with Samsung recently released I got an update just a few days ago and that one did a bunch of color correction options more than you can already do. So if you go into settings on your device and then go into display and then go into screen mode and then you have the adaptive display. You can see that they did a bunch of new settings here. So first of all, you can just change the, color, the temperature of the screen. And that actually was enough for me to get it from... I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I turned it on to the second coolest setting and I get a lot better for my redness of the screen. You can even go to advanced options here and then you have these red things here. And I put, also took down the red all the way on my screen to make it look the best. So I have half blue here. And I have all the red down, and then I have the full screen color balance set on the cool, almost at the bottom there, as you can see. And then what you can also do is that I noticed some red edges on my other old S8 Plus that I got and got returned. And you can actually go edge screen color balance, which is even better, which means that you can adjust this, if you notice red corners that looks red, you can adjust that even more. And this must be some kind of really deep setting you're doing, because it says it can take up to 10 minutes, and your phone may restart two times. So this, I would all recommend doing if you really need and it really disturbing you with red edges. But mine right now looks fine. I'm actually very happy with how the screen looks. I don't know how it looks on camera, but for me now, it actually looks white and there's no red, and I'm very happy. So I'm glad Samsung give, gave these options now in this update, and hopefully it's gonna solve it for a lot of people, but again, I think this shouldn't really have to be there in the first place. I wish they could have just made the screen a little less red from the beginning. But this is how it is now at least, and now you can fix it yourself really easy. So I just wanted to make a quick update about this, and hopefully you'll, your device will get it soon if you don't have it yet. And you just go into screen settings, and then you go into screen mode, adaptive display, and they can change all of this to tweak it until you think it looks white enough for you. So that's going to sum this video up guys, I hope you all liked it, and as always stay tuned for more, I try to upload at least once every week. That's going to be it for now, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.